Hello there, I'm Cynic Placebo, and it's Sunday, which means it's time for a sci-fi game. So today's game I know essentially nothing about. Uh, it's called The Mind's Eclipse, and I found it on Steam, and I believe that it's a visual novel, but other than that, I don't know much about it. Jonathan Campbell. machine it will save her. John, she's awake now. But there isn't much time. I will save her. Hannah. John. Oh, is this me now? Can I actually click on stuff? Okay, who's there? You're awake and I thought you were a goner. I can't see my eyes. Yeah, yeah, give me a second. Hi, is that better? An AI? Ah, the famed intelligence. I understand it now. Wait, why can't I see? Your implant needs tweaking. There, much better? Your hands find the scarred eye sockets. What happened to my eyes? How about now? Almost. Perfect. For my next trick, I will make a lame man walk. Let's try that again. I'm L, AI designator ECH35536. Nice to meet you, how's it going? Can you believe this weather we're having? Blah, blah, blah. Come on, let's go. Go where? Where am I? Where's Hannah? You must tell me what's going on. You don't have a lot of options here, guy. The hospital's running out of oxygen. You can't stay here, but you... You can stay here, but you'll be dead in about 45 minutes. Well, 42.36 minutes to be exact. But, I think you get the picture. Alright, I'm getting up. Alright, every environment is interaction. Hover over objects to explore. Escape from menu, I for inventory, map from, oh, M for map and move. N for messages, spacebar to exit advanced dialog, T for tutorial, use these buttons to access the menu inventory. Oh, so the, okay, so I could use the hotkeys or I can click the buttons. Use this button or press spacebar to exit. All right. All right, what's this about? Looks like a data terminal, the screen's busted. Can I do something with it? No? So just, do things only go blurry if I can interact? Okay. An old robot sits in the corner. Hello? Hello! I was talking to... to the deactivated Isaac. I just wanted to remind you that the air is leaving this room. <clears throat> Search the robot. You turn the robot over but find nothing useful. Alright. Search the man. His eyes are burned out. All right. Biomedical operation. Whoa, that went real fast. It's so strong. Must fight. Must fight. The song is so beautiful. This is a message from the Board of Public Safety. Removal of biomedical operating system. Bossy implants is both unsafe and illegal. If you know someone involved with bossy removal, report them immediately. Their immune system may be compromised and quarantine may be necessary for the safety of the core. Remember, only through community will we achieve the eclipse. Board of Public Safety Office Tower. If you ever wake up, don't trust them. They know about the non-parody event. Remember your family. Remember why we did this. I hear it now, the song, and I embrace it. Alright. Adler, Francis, and then just an announcement. Okay. What was that? You just used your bossy interface to connect with someone else's. I was inside his head? 
More like inside his email client. By the way, that's some fancy hardware you're carrying. Most people around here still use the old plugs. My skin, it merged with him. That would be your nanites. It helps maintain your bossy and thus monitor your nanite levels at all time. Oh, I have, sorry. <clears throat> what happened to this man? Why is his dead body here? He suffered from multiple gunshot wounds and thus some internal bleeding. I don't remember any of this. Was I involved somehow? You didn't shoot him if that's what you're asking. Do you really not remember any of this? No. Well, we can figure that out later. Right now you have bigger problems, like breathing. I didn't find anything useful in his bossy. Try searching his pockets. The man's pocket yields a core. Security card. For decades, wireless systems offered too many security hazards to be considered for sensitive environments. The crystalline secure cards offer basic security access via optical cryptography. Secure cards are common to the core, through, though many companies have since opted for neural lock methods for extremely important matters. All right. Okay, this might be helpful. All right, have I searched everything? Oh, the door. All right, door looks like it's the final piece. <clears throat> looks like this is the only way out of here. All right, let's do it. We need to keep moving. There should be an elevator down the hall to the right. It'll bring us to the next level and to the exit. Where's this place? It looks abandoned. It's the core regional hospital. The lack of air probably explains why it's abandoned. I don't remember any of this. I'm not even sure what my name is. I can help with that. Information that I heroically salvaged off this hospital's network informs me that you are Jonathan Campbell. Jonathan Campbell, why did they leave me here? Maybe because you put inquisitiveness ahead of breathing. Alright, alright, let's go. Alright. So, the exit... Well, this is the room I just came out of, it looks like. I can go up and down. Can I go into here? John, are you okay? Hannah, my wife. She died. I remember now. What else do you remember? I'm not sure. I remember growing up, my parents, but I don't remember how I got here. But Hannah, I remember that she's gone. Look, I know this must be difficult, but we need to, we need to keep going. Time is running out. Don't go near that. What is it? Rogue nanites, potentially dangerous. So many, I can see them buzzing about. It's your bossy implant. It registers the nanites in your virtual vision. Oh yes, my eyes. Don't worry, John, we'll figure everything out once we get to safety. Another Isaac lays in the hallway. It appears to be in a low power mode, but may be accessible. Alright. Patient log. Patient's emaciation is advanced. I knew the kids were getting hooked, but this is disturbing. Aren't there limiters in place? Where were this boy's parents while he was wasting away in a VR pod? Patients so show textbook sign of VR addiction. We're not even sure that he knows he's been unplugged. The hospital, the nurses, wires in his arms. He could very well think it's all part of some game. Interesting. Alright, so we're in a dystopic future where uh, everybody is addicted to VR. The window here is cracked. Further inspection reveals a dark room. The hallway continues this way, but the end is out of sight. Alright, can I go in here? More deactive Isaacs. Search the cabinet. A cabinet full of supplies. Just like the core hospital, this surgical instrument is a relic that reminds us of a time when a large percentage of the population required many invasive medical procedures to remain healthy. Need to cut something with surgical precision? We've got you covered. Alright, so I've got like an arc welder laser cutter thing. This looks useful. Alright. Something is scrawled on the wall. Don't trust the AI. Ooh, don't trust the AI. L, can you see everything that I see? More or less. You still there? My sensors don't indicate you asphyxiating yet. What was your primary function before you found me? I was a doctor. My specialties included pediatrics and internal medicine. And you've been trying to get everyone out of the hospital? No. I was reactivated more recently. What happened to the others? Did they make it? I don't know. They were already dead when I awoke. I tried to leave. Until you found me? Exactly. And I realized that oxygen was running out. I couldn't leave you. Plus, the network is firewalled, so I can't just catch a data stream out of here. Is a mess. Medical equipment lies toppled on the floor. This stuff hasn't been used in years. It's rusted in spots. All right. 
data terminal appears to be functional. Patient is responding to treatment. Today he touched my face and asked if I was real. He's still on a liquid diet so as not to shock his system. We'll fatten him up so he can get right back to the pods and waste away again in a field of butterflies or whatever fantasy he chooses to spend 20 credits an hour to lose himself in. John says he can cure every disease. What he doesn't realize is that humanity cooks up new ones every day. I wonder if I'm the patient that was stuck in the VR pod. Alright. Today patient stopped responding to all treatments. The sickness has spread and could no longer be combated via traditional and experimental methods. Based on patient's previous wishes, I released her from the bossy interface. Ah, so it's not me, but it could be Hannah, possibly. Patient expired at 3.40 a.m. I tried my hardest, Hannah. Jonathan Campbell, Executive Director, Core Medical Technologies. Okay. So I'm the Executive Director, and my wife still died from an unclear disease that spread. Okay. All right. I was a doctor here. Say again? I was a doctor here, in this hospital. I just saw it on the terminal. A patient log regarding Hannah. I don't remember seeing your name. What was the log dated? 2322. Oh, I see. That was over 30 years ago. I was born more recently. The hospital hasn't been in use for years. Then why was I here? All right. Interesting. Uh, oh. I can't do these side passages, it looks like. Alright, so we'll move back here. Alright, let's try up first. What happened here? A fight? It looks like he was a soldier. A fight would explain why I'm unable to access anyone on the network. Hospital power must be down. Shouldn't oxygen be on emergency generators? Not if someone cut them off to suffocate whoever was in here. Like me? No data available. We're short on time, but you could use your bossy to recover more information on what happened here, if it's still intact. You look down at the dead man, a slight queasiness buzzes around in your gut. Hey, let's hurry. No oxygen, remember? Good idea. Let's search him first. Pristine. No wounds, only burns. On his face. What happened to Campbell? Do you have him? He went off the radar around the time that all this started. Do you think he fell for it? Suspect in question is Mara Holst, age 19 female. We cut her scavenging parts from the old hospital. I think she's one of Prava's wannabe revolutionaries. Nah, just a typical VR junkie. She was babbling about some digital dreamboat she just shacked up with. There's a million like her. The old man is still out cold. His eyes are burned and I don't know if he'll ever wake up. Damn lights keep flickering like power is going off any minute. Laszlo told me to steal the elevator and block the hallway until rescue comes. I don't want to die down here. Well, it's an interesting story, that's for sure. All right. That is interesting. They make they make me move room by room. <laughs> the hall ends at an elevator. All right. The door appears to be welded shut with some sort of composite. This way is blocked. Hold on, calculating. Damn, someone's out to get me. Get it together, guy. This is some shoddy sealant. You should be able to cut through it with a knife. You always this skittish? Only when I'm suffocating. Well, stay strong. You can get out of here as long as you don't lose your mind. Easy for an AI to say. One older data terminal. John, I'm so sorry for your loss. We did everything for her up until the end. Wherever she ended up, it's got to be a better place than this damn hospital bed. You there, Laszlo? Yep. Chancellor, Chancellor's gone off the deep end. Keeps asking us who's broadcasting our tunes. I think the tussle with those ELM assholes shook him up. Throw him in one of the patient rooms. We must protect Campbell while he's out. Patrice, I found Olivia in the hospital today. She was shivering like a lost puppy. I began crying when I saw her. She screamed at me, called us fanatics, and said she didn't feel safe with living with us anymore. She doesn't understand. She hasn't, hasn't experienced the miracles of this place like you and I have. The eclipse draws near. Anna. All right. Graffiti on the wall. An eclipse? All right. So there's some sort of, like, either religious or some sort of faction that draws this symbol. You try to call the elevator, but the doors are shield, sealed shut. Doors are sealed. Open the door. You power up the surgical cutter. It cuts through the sealant easily enough. The eclipse is alive. Pravya Valhamari. The elevator doors open and a blast of frigid air rolls past you. I probably don't have to tell you that the temperatures are dangerously low here. It's hard to breathe. Oh yeah, oxygen levels are also dangerously low. Need to keep moving. If I were a fragile lump of meat, I'd find something to keep warm. Graffiti marks the ground. Beware cozy. 
instead of bossy? Is that like the the upgrade to bossy? I don't know. My searching cannot find any matches. Do you have any idea who wrote this? One of the people you were helping? Nope. Handprint on a frosted window. Puddle of some fluid. It's completely frozen. I need to keep moving. A large pair of doors in the distance. We have to get. We have to be getting close to an exit. All right. Oh, this looks like a totally different place. So this. Uh, did I come from here? This must be the elevator, I guess. My God. The woman sits silently in the chair. Her cybernetic arms lay ripped off her torso. Who would do this? You move closer to see the bullet wound that killed her. If whoever did this is still around, you need to get out of here. Search the woman. Let's face it, no one wants to accidentally open an airlock. That's why they made airlock keys. Warning, do not leave children unattended near airlock systems. An airlock key is not a toy. Report all missing airlock keys to local security. Okay. I will always love you. All right. Damn, the interface is scrambled. All right. Another dead figure leans against the wall. A damn massacre. Why? The dead man lies on the floor. Dried blood outlines his figure. A large hatch. It might lead to the kitchen. The hatch is locked. You, can you try to open it? Yeah, I could, but we need to keep moving. You know this isn't the exit, right? Bloody handprints soil the windows. Alright. It appears to be a security station. A rack full of old spacesuits. This should be sufficient to keep you alive. A spacesuit? It looks vintage. Yeah, let's hurry up. If you suffocate, you I won't be able to enjoy your complaining. In the Corps' early days, spacesuits were a com as common as the Isaacs that mined the moon's ore. Okay, so we're on the moon. The construction of the Corps' central dome brought Earth's atmosphere, and most suits became a little more than family heirlooms. Now such spacesuits persist only on the exterior or the old fringes of the Corps, where one might need to venture beyond the station. It's difficult, but you manage to put the suit on. Oxygen bottles. They're all empty. Someone was living here. There's something within the sleeping bag. The sickness resurgence of 2322 did not leave the Corps unscathed. Many of the old hospital's own staff were afflicted by the devastating terminal disease. That was when my timestamp was. In 2324, the old hospital shut down as funding was provided to enlarge the Corps' central medical research projects. Alright. The security terminal appears to be functional. Ellen, Prav. Ellen, is that you? Who, said, who is this? Is this your idea of some sick joke? They trusted you, I trusted you, and more importantly, she trusted you. You crossed the line a long time ago, and now we're ready to end the charade. Come try and stop us, or will you just hide in your tower and send Laszlo to do your dirty work? Alright, so I've got no oxygen, but <clears throat> at least I have a suit now. More dead bodies litter the entrance. A skirmish? There's different uniforms on the soldiers. Who would assault a hospital? Graffiti paints a large airlock door, and dents from bullets can be seen in various places. It looks like the exit. Can you get the door open? You'll have to do it yourself. Try the console near the airlock. The uniform sports a badge with the initials ELM. Earth, Luna, Mars, the Republics of Seoul. Why are these soldiers here? Why would they attack the hospital? L is once again silent. What are you hiding from me, L? John, my medical duties did not allow me to witness this party. They obviously meant business looking for the size of those weapons. Look, John, this place is obviously not safe. I can't promise that outside is any safer, but if you stay here, you'll probably die. And I die with you, trapped in your bo bossy implant. So, let's stop playing 20 questions and get out of here before any soldiers come back. Some of these people don't have implants. They've been surgically removed. Alright. So, the terminal's unharmed. Warning, corridor breach flashes above the terminal. <clears throat> All right. We've known each other for years. Still, you seem shocked that I would insist on keeping Hannah connected to the machines. I don't know how much time she has left. No one knows that, but I cannot. I will not simply give up on her while she still breathes. I have that much to her, John. Mac, damn Lance Laszlo, it feels like a lifetime since I saw this video. It's hard to believe how much you've accomplished since I got out of your way. Laszlo, you were there for the hardest part. 
Back when this place was just a dream. We're close, Mac. Closer than we've ever been to cracking this. You picked a hell of a time to come visit. I've got so much to show you. Alright. I mean, I could open the airlock, but that seems like a bad idea. Uh, let's see. We're about 20 minutes in. So let's... Let's do this. I'm going to go ahead and open the airlock, and we are just going to see what happens. If I die, I die. Ready? Yeah, this place was starting to get to me. I grasped firmly at the threads of the universe, but they continue to slip through my hands. Jonathan Campbell. Wow. Is that... L? What's going on? Bridge crosses, fills a broken field. Bridge crosses, fills a broken field. With interesting capitals. Search and query for Jonathan. Return to me. Return to Cozy. I have saved her. Is she here? She is here with me. With us. Alright, so some sort of like mind upload. I sent someone else. Who is that there with the healer? Hey, snap out of it. What is that thing? The faces. I didn't see anything. Another memory? Lack of oxygen getting to your brain? No, I don't think so. I called itself Cozy. Ah, Cozy. You know what it is? No, the graffiti in the hospital, remember? So what is it? Another AI? I don't know, John. I could not detect anything. Could it bypass you and access my bossy? Possibly. I will devote extra resources to encrypting your neural network, and I can drop in some more trip warnings into your brain. Sounds lovely. Of course, you could help both of us by continuing to move. A tower looms in the distance. What's that out there? Judging by the size, overcompensation. A city below is massive. All right. The entire corridor is built out of glass. No, it's a transparent hardened polymer composite. Haha, <laughs> nerd alert. My memories must be coming back to me. Probably. This could be a great sign. A giant, a gas giant monopolizes the skyline. Oh, so this is not our moon. We're on some moon. Where did you think we were? Underwater? Is that Jupiter? What gave it away? The red giant spot? We must be on Europa. Is it... It's the only Jovian moon with a human settlement. Correct. Alright. Alright, so we're on Europa in this game. That's interesting. Giant machinery crowds the horizon. Terraforming? A mining operation? Not sure. The corridor is visibly cracked in spots where this maintenance car has crashed. Well, that explains why the corridor lacks air, and why it's so damn cold. Is this why the hospital was losing oxygen as well? No, the airlock was sealed and intact. It must have been an internal malfunction. Someone could have disabled the system remotely. Who would do that? You are quite... It wasn't me, was it? You turned off the oxygen? While you were in a coma? No. I mean, that someone turned it off because of me. Because they wanted to flush me out. Well, it wasn't like there was anyone waiting for us outside, John. Cozy. Your imaginary friend? Take this seriously. Okay, here's something serious. There's still no oxygen here, and that soon won't last forever. We need to find safety your people and see what's going on. Fine, I'll keep moving. Search the cabin. Sure, there's blood. They were injured. A variety of things in the trailer. Old medical system. Oh, okay, a map. So the lower well, the tower, the upper rim, the outer station, and the old medical system. So we're off of here, headed in towards the upper rim. Map of Europa. Never, never something so barren looks so beautiful. So said Zingbai, the first human being to set foot on Europa. Little did he know that the vast wealth that lurked beneath the surface of its massive ice oceans. When originally chartered, Europa was considered a pretty, uh, a pretty but useless endeavor. A simple check box for space exploration. Element 985 changed that forever. Today the core remains only a major settlement, but ELM has been scheming for years to rest it away, rest away its charter. All right. A small robot lies deactivated on the ground. It appears to be a maintenance bot of some sort. Only machines here. We haven't seen a living person. All right. Brigham. 
Orders from upstairs. Anyone caught trespassing in the old hospital is to be arrested immediately. Some gangs are thought to be stealing supplies and medical equipment to aid in the illegal removal of bossy implants. Let's do our job, people. Officer Brigham. Ellen, that's hilarious. I bet they didn't even know you were making fun of them. Have you ever ha met a more humorless drone than those tower workers? An ancient Isaac could tell a better joke than they could. Sure, I think it's funny, but maybe I'm biased toward the comedian making the jokes. Want to go people watching again tomorrow? I was stuck in the upper rim today, and it's just not the same without your running commentary. Pravia. I wonder if those are sentient bots, or if that's just the avatar that they choose. Canary News Roundup. E from award-winning Psy rapper True Dynamite was arrested today by ELM authorities after he violated Hauser conventions by live-streaming his new album directly to the bossy implants of his 20 million registered fans without warning. Critics have ignored the usual criticism of True's ego and have instead focused on the danger such an act poses, which resulted in numerous fans dying after they were interrupted while driving or working. ELM legislature has recently approved the weakening of restrictions on nanite technology research for military purposes. Luna's political leaders, including President Zachary J. Zachner, have swiftly condemned the law, citing the damage done to Luna during the last night's nanite war. During the last nanite war, sorry. ELM Chancellor Ure Mandela has argued the research ban needed lifting in order to encourage nanite research, particularly in light of the tech leaps made by the Corps. On the beginning of my mission, Alfonso C. Uh, Alfonso C. Father Urias, only a few days have passed since I touched down on Europa. I'm so far from Earth, from the slums of Old Rio, or from the seat of our faith in the Holy See. I think of Matteo Ricci and Francis Xavier and how far they traveled for our Lord. But I have it so easy. This is a place of wealth and splendor. They speak my language. They have hopes and desires I understand. I am almost ashamed to have been sent here. Why should I not have been chosen to go to a place of danger and violence? We say the Lord gives us only what we can handle. Perhaps he knows how weak I am. I will write you frequently with updates on the mission. Remember me in your prayers. In the hands of our Lord, Afonso Cavallo SJ. All right. Well, I mean, the story is definitely unfolding in an interesting way. I'm not sure how much more I'm going to do because we're almost at the 30 minute mark. So, there's an announcement flashing on that data terminal. A small crater can be seen through the floor. A large garage door stands closed. Grease marks the corridor leading into the garage. I can't open the door. Can I hack the door? Like with an axe? We're on a network. I don't, it doesn't have an access port. If the nearby data terminal doesn't work, we could find the motor controller and push the door open ourselves. Alright. Power station sits idle. It's still operational. Alright. Someone drew with grease the eclipse. Someone has puddled at the foot of the door. Some has puddled. Another locked door. Alright. Emergency broadcast. Station is under attack. Please proceed to the tower for safety. I miss her every day. It's hard not to give up sometimes. Alright. So he's wallowing in sadness. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to go a little bit faster just so Artesia Valencia is another person now talking with Helen. Alright. Unix and a harem. Okay. Uh, okay, so the date today is 2352. That's good to know. Message went out three days ago and it's still running. Yep, it appears. All right. Okay, so I, I have to get air no matter what. All right, so I can't get in there yet. Let's do one more room and then we'll call it quits. So core main station tower. Okay. So I could try to get off the moon and <laughs> get away from a war zone. Or he could lie alone and recover his memories, but there's only a spacecraft at the spaceport. Outer rim. People trying to leave. No personnel past this point. Traffic jam blocks the tunnel. They were all trying to get away. Nobody's there to answer. There's a maintenance toolbox, though. Search the rest of the car. Open the toolbox. A jack? Okay. Ooh, a hydraulic lift. It can raise five tons. Alright. Alright, so let's try to. Oh, uh, corridor. No, not message. Move, there we go. 
All right, let's open this with the jack. He simply moves the water from one cup to another. What happens to the soul? Damn, this doesn't look good. All right, so we're in the garage. Again, if you're wanting to see more of this game, comment down below, and I will gladly play more of it. It's definitely interesting. It's got a good art style. So far, there haven't been many options. It seems like they're guiding you down one path. Uh, that's mostly, you know, a story-driven narrative. But, you know, if it's a small indie team, that kind of makes sense. They don't have, you know, the ability to do an open-world RPG with several branching endings. But who knows? Maybe there are multiple endings. Maybe there's at least two. So, uh, again, if you want to see more, let me know, and I will play more of Mind's Eclipse. But until next time, play more games.